Jeff was um, very close in age to me, only a year apart, and so um, you know we had a lot of friends, you know, crossover. I guess he was very funny. He was very intelligent. Um, my younger brother Rob would always say, you know, he's definitely the best looking out of the, out of the three of us. Um, he found things really easy, you know, whether it be um, you know academic stuff, uh, sport. He played badminton for England. He played chess to a very high standard. My younger brother Rob played for England, and Jeff could still have a very good game against him. Um, he was very popular. Um, he had a lot of girlfriends and just you know friends who were girls, if you know what I mean. Because yeah. he he really listened to people. He cared, and he would you know often be trying to help people if they had problems and they'd come to him and stuff. And um, yeah, I just remember you know every time we went out we'd have a laugh. Um, he he loved to to sort of tell funny stories of what had happened and even though he'd be telling the same story and adding a, a few bits embellishing it here and there <laughs> you know they still ended up being really funny and yeah. um yeah it's just a real shame he's he's not here you like to flutter on the horses uh we both remember we that? both got into into that we, we even bought a um a horse and we named it after him um for a couple of years with a, a big group of friends but um yeah we used to sort of enjoy oh there's a horse there you go uh, <laughs> <heard us> talking <laughs> about it yeah um you know, and, and so that was something we remember doing and always Boxing Day we'd watch the King George whilst Dad was trying to get us to celebrate his birthday. And do you remember, do you remember the last time you saw him or spoke to him? Um, Jeff came back um, to the UK because he was living in New York, um, had been since 99, and um, he came back middle of August 2001 uh, to announce that he'd got engaged. And how much do you know about what happened on that day? Um, you know, we were in Lanzarote. It, it was one of those things I think my wife had seen something on one of the TVs in the cafes at the top of the beach came running down saying you know something's happened at this stage I, I think maybe uh, definitely both planes had gone into the, the World Trade Center so obviously it was you know, being streamed on TV um, but by the time I got up there the one of the towers had definitely fallen and although initially I wasn't that concerned because he worked up in uh, Midtown mm. uh, for Reuters um, but I realised, you know, it was serious. So I remember going down to get my mum and the kids saying, look, you know, we need to find out what's going on. Uh, I tried unsuccessfully to get hold of um, people in, in London. I didn't have my mobile with me. It was you know, safely tucked away at the, hospital, at the hotel. And uh, so I was on this payphone and I finally got through to my brother Rob, who had spoken to Caroline and, you know, confirmed that he'd gone to the conference. And I remember just dropping the phone. And at that point, my mum always says, like, she knew that, you know, Jeff had, had gone. Uh, you know, my brother basically his death was not, you couldn't see it, but you know, his, his death was live on TV mm. uh, as it was for you know, 2,600 odd people that died at World Trade. You don't accept the official version of what happened, um, is that correct? Um, no, I, I think bits it would be it? true to say there are certain aspects um, that once you start to, to investigate. And, it, and even just using official sources, you know, you start to question certainly the official narrative that was pushed out in the very early days, which, you know, stuck in most people's memories. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I started to, to question stuff as early as uh, end of October 2001. Um, uh, just very uncomfortable with what was going on in Afghanistan. It didn't seem to make any sense to me. You know, 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudi, uh, and yet we were, you know, bombing Afghanistan. And I kind of felt, you know, that's being done in my brother's name. Mm. And um, that didn't sit easy with me at all. And so it wasn't probably until um, 2007, uh, 2008, had I really given any consideration to how the towers came down. Um, I, to be honest, I never actually really looked at footage of the towers coming down. The only imagery, be it moving or photos that I looked at were before the towers came down because I was trying to spot a last glimpse of my brother. I mean, I've looked at all the footage of every single jumper. It's it's quite hard doing that, but you know, I, was, I just I wanted to really see difficult to connect with that last image of him still being alive. Um, need to say, you know, I've not managed to find a, a, an image of him, but I hadn't really considered how the towers came down. For me, I've not been that interested in who has done it, which might sound odd. It just I'm not a kind of I don't want retribution. I don't. I just want to know the truth. That that's way more important to me than you know, getting someone locked up, for example, it's not going to bring my brother back. And, and that's why you've brought this inquest, or you've asked yep. the, the, <clears throat> the government's top legal advisor, the Attorney General, for a, a new inquest, a fresh inquest. An inquest is very specific. It's who, where, when, and how did the deceased come about his or her death? I mean, it's that simple. And so for me, it's focusing on, okay, 
what brought the towers down. You know, the official um, hypothesis uh, that's not been proven or studied is it's, um, you know, the planes, the jet fuel, etc., weakening the steel, etc. Um, whereas I, our hypothesis that's being put forward with um, controlled explosives is, is the use of explosives and incendiaries hmm. um, to bring down down the tower. And you know there is a wealth of information out there um, and evidence. We've got um, six expert uh, witnesses who are putting forward um, arguments as to why um, the towers were demolished. We've got uh, five first responders um, who I mean I think. You know, some were police officers, firefighters, medics. Out of 150 that all gave testimony within you know days of basically saying or statements saying that you know they heard explosives and explosions going off. Um, and so even now, 20 years on, they're willing to still stand by their sworn statements and be cross-examined in court over what they witnessed. Um, there's also uh, some US and UK victim family members who are supporting our application. It's certainly not just me. And um, you know, to get it into um, and to, to get the authority granted from the Attorney General, we only need to, to show that the, this new evidence may lead to a new verdict. Some people might have called you a conspiracy theorist. How do you feel when you hear that? Um, I mean, that's just a lazy way of not engaging with you know abundance of evidence. I mean, I said a lot of the stuff is just it's out there. It's on official record that we're drawing from. This is a very serious thing that we're doing and you know engaging a barrister is is not cheap no. and you know and the barrister would honestly would not take it on if he didn't think we'd have a good chance of winning I mean, he's always said he would not be in a position to submit this if he wasn't confident that we have well over what's needed to get that inquest reopened hmm. um you must miss your brother yeah i do you know i, I kind of think what would he be doing now you know, in terms of his own family life and being an uncle to my kids. Uh, I have a third daughter now who wasn't born when he was um, still alive. My youngest brother Rob, you know, he's got kids. Jeff never got to, to know them. And that, that, that kind of makes me sad, but it's just that whole, you know, going out and just catching up and telling those old stories and, and stuff. Um, you know, that's just never going to happen. You know? How will you spend September the 11th? Uh, well away from all the media madness. Uh, it's, I mean, uh, anniversary is an odd phrase that everyone uses. It's, it's just a remembering, isn't it? 20 years old. Anniversary is like good events, yeah. Mm. Um, I will be just, you know, remembering Jeff my own, my own way, but well away from, from you know, TV and radio and everything.